crafty babes it's andrea and today i'm going to share with you how i set up my revival camp travelers notebook this revival camp for 2017 is from illustrated faith and it is completely free this year so you can download all of the devotional content and uh, watch all of the process videos those are completely free. You have the option to buy some printables that you can use to supplement and decorate your notebook. And so what I decided to do was make my own notebook. It's really small and I'll give you a little peek at how I made it and what it looks like so far. So I decided to make my own traveler's notebook just for 2017 revival camp it's called wild love and i decided to handwrite my own title on the front because i don't have transparency paper or clear sticker paper so i didn't want to print out the scripted elements that are available in the print and pray shop so i decided to make my own that way i could still get my title on here and not have to wait until my <laughs> my order of clear sticker paper arrives from amazon so here is what I've done so far. I made my own traveler's notebook by assembling uh, this piece of cardstock that I printed. This is from the Print and Pray Shop. I decided this is the one I wanted to be my cover and I used some 32 pound paper. And because I don't have a long arm stapler, I looked up on YouTube the best way to make a notebook like this without having a long arm stapler because as you all know, the stapler it does not fit <laughs> it's not long enough so <clears throat> the easiest way to explain this is to just tell you how to do it real quick so i folded my papers previous to setting them uh, together like this but once i got them trimmed to size and they were folded i had a, a score here in the middle so i knew what the center would be and then i used my ruler oh well the first thing is is you actually can just staple out three staples like this so that they're open and then i used my ruler to find actually a longer ruler works much better and you find the center so here I decided, since it's eight and a quarter, I just moved my, um, so that I could have four be directly in the middle. It's just easier for me as far as finding the lines that are um, symmetrical. So I just moved it to, I moved it down about two sixteenths. And then I used a pencil first to make little marks and I marked the places that the staples would go by lining up the staples like this. So I knew where the holes needed to be. So I just made little notches based on how long the staple was. And then I just put my cutting board underneath and I pushed down with my push pin to make some holes. And then all I did was just press the staples right through the holes and on the back side, which I've covered up, covered up at this point, I just used my ruler to bend them down and make sure that they weren't sticking up anymore. So that is a really simple way to make your own notebook and you don't have to take it anywhere to get it bound and you don't have to sew it or any of those things. So I just thought that was a really simple tutorial and thought that I would share that with you. And maybe what I'll do too is um, link it in the video so that, you know, I didn't give the most in-depth description so maybe you can get some more tips from her so i decided to just do the revival camp badge on the front and then i printed all of the devotional pieces separate i wanted to try to print them as a booklet but the way that i wanted the devotionals to lay out i could not get that to happen on my printer so i just printed them off individually and then trimmed them so that they fit and all i have in here is i actually used three sheets of paper um, i really could have just used two sheets of paper so that i could have just done week one week two week three and week four and then it would have been done but what i wanted in the center was a little bit of um, space to do some a little bit more decorating and journaling so i did the intro 
and then I'll decorate this and then this is where I'll do my journaling and stuff while I'm going through the devotional and if I decide to take it further into my Bible I will but I wanted to just make sure I had enough space here but I also wanted to make sure I didn't overwhelm myself with giving myself too much space that I felt like I needed to fill up so week one week two and then I have the middle section where I can decorate week three week four and then if I needed or wanted to, I could decorate the back, maybe how I felt about the whole thing in the end. And then that is it, my friends. That is how I have decided to set up my Revival Camp Traveler's Notebook, and I'm really excited to dig in. And I'll also show you that I've just decided to keep all of my extra pieces in a page protector. It just seemed like the easiest. I can keep them all together. I've cut some of the things out and that way when i'm ready i can just pull them out here and i have them all in the same area same spot and i can decide if i want to add some more pages to the inside i can glue things down but it's just easier for me if i keep everything all together and i'll probably end up adding some washi tape to a couple of bobbins so that i can keep uh, a small amount of washi tape with all of this but for now I'm just going to keep it here and then when I'm ready to work on it, it'll all be right here for me, ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know how you're handling your revival camp. Tell me how you're storing it and how you're going to be working on it. I'd love to hear. Talk to you guys really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.